Okay, people, part two. So I have mounted, if you can see, a wire. This is stapled or mounted 12 inches from the opening of this box. It runs up and goes to the service mast. So right now, I'm going to strip the coating on this 15 amp, 120 volt wire. Remove the ground like that. And switch the wires around so the black is always on the right, or that's how I wire it. Take your wire strippers, go to 14, whatever yours, your American wire gauge is, you should look on the water. And then what you're only going to do is do the ground first. Have this come up, wrap around. Make it higher. It goes in the grounding plate. Like that. And now what you're going to want to do is have this bent up and bent down like that. Kind of, you can see that. Make a loop because if anything goes wrong and you need to replace this and say if this gets fried here, you're going to want to cut it back. But if you don't, there won't be enough room and you're going to have to replace this wire. Tie the other one in. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to use these rippers and see if I can tighten this in a little bit more. Okay. And that's it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your meter again, line it up, and give that a good, I don't know what to call that, hit. And make sure it's all in. Take your new locking ring. it around, clip it in, wait for whatever power company you have to come and put some seals on it, and call them to have them re-put on or reattach the wires to the telephone pole. And that's it. Thanks for watching part two and part one.